I don't know if we're recording. We're recording? I think we are. Yeah. There we go. Anyways, what a week. It's Friday. So, wait. Ugh. I thought I'd show you guys this uh, this car we're doing. That's gonna be a two-tone. Two-tone, uh, it's gonna be C-A-H, which is the code for that. We're blending both coders, thank God. And then we're doing the bottom black. So we'll show you guys how to do that. All right, using the Welcome HVOP, slim comeback. 1.3 and at 30 psi. Trigger all the way open, fan all the way open, that's the way I like to use this gun, great gun, honestly I've been impressed with it, I know by, by now, probably, I sound by it, but what can you do when you find a good product, I don't know, that's why I show it to you, when it's something good I show it to you guys, anyways, uh, Sealer's down on that, I'm gonna let that flash off. And then, now I'm going to clean that, degreaser, make sure it's clean, make sure it's perfect in order to do a beautiful blend. All right, here we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one coat of base, um, one coat of base on it, and I'm gonna put a light coat of base here with the, with the red, it's okay. But what I want is I want some base on the sealer. That's the whole point of it. Even though I'm going to put black on it after. I thought I'd bring out one of the old babies. In my opinion, this was the best SATA that was ever built. The SATA Jet 3000. When it comes to SATAs. Always loved the 3000s. They were the best. For me, anyways. But I don't know much, so... I just wanted to show it. Red car, you know, red SATA, Canadian edition, love it. So because we're spraying uh, on top of sealer, like I always say, you're able to put it on a little heavier because the sealer is the perfect substrate. So nice, so smooth. Amazing. I'll give this a clean. Show there's no burn throughs. So this color for some companies is a tricoat. For PPG they have a tricoat formula, but I like to use the the, the standard uh, metallic formula. It works really well, 
and it matches perfectly. I mean, like, it could be a butt match sometimes, depends on the vehicle. But for this Range Rover, we needed to blend the quarters, plus we're getting paid for it. So, whenever you get paid for a blend, do it! It's always worth it. Because the car will come in and the car will go out. No issues. Unless I run everything, of course, which is a very high, high probability of it. Always clean the plastic, always clean the paper. Very important. You know, cleaning is very important because if you do it right, you will see, you will see what you've missed, right? And then you will also, you'll be able to see if there's any burn throughs or something. If you just like half-ass clean it, don't really pay attention, you're gonna miss something. Just like that, let the gun do the work. it. I'm going to flash this off, put another coat on. Come back in a minute. All right. So see the difference between blowing and not blowing. That's dry, ready to go, and then this is still wet. So just Something to think about if you have a drying device, use it. It makes a big difference, boys and girls. I'm gonna put another heavy coat. So I know this color sometimes doesn't cover, which is most of the time. But since we use the right shade of gray, we shouldn't have pain in our brain. I'm going to show you guys a little trick when it comes to uh, doing two-tones with water base. When it comes to PPG, anyways, that's what I use. I use PPG and Biobase. Really like this paint. Not that I have an option, right? Because I work. I'm a painter, right? So, and I work at a body shop. And uh, we use PPG. So that's what I show you guys. You know? Tomorrow, they could change companies, and I would have to adjust. One of, one of the things about being a production painter and a body shop that's busy, things can change very quickly. So if they decide to change paint companies, it's up to me to adjust, right? I could be bitter, or I could get better, right? And I will always choose to get better. And hey, it will be a nice opportunity to try out a different paint line. So, you know what I mean? Your ability to change and your ability to accept change and your ability to change with the change will get you very far in life i mean i think in everything really do a control code on that. That's it. Look at that. This gun is awesome. This is 
the greatest sada I ever made. That's for sure for me, anyways. The sada, and when it comes to sadas, three thousand, love them. I'm gonna dry this, put a control coat, and we should be good. All right, a little control coat. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to bake it for five minutes at 130 okay five minutes 130 come back let it cool down let it get cold so if you have the ability to put your booth down you know right now it's cold outside so I can make it really cold in here all right that's gonna make the base work much better then I'll show you what so after bake we got the um, base nice and dry all right Masking it up. Sexy Jason oh, masking oh. it up for us. All right, so, make sure we're recording. Yep. So what we're doing here is we're going to put wet bed, okay? So, it, and I guess it's called, uh, for every company, it's probably about the same. It's a wet bed, transparent, uh, transparent, uh, like, uh, it's, 80% C490 and 10% 494, okay? So it's, it's clear, it's got no color on it. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray it, make sure we get it on that crack, make sure it hits the fine line. Because what this is gonna do, it's going to go, since it's clear, it's gonna go into any, if there's any imperfection of air in the fine line, right? This is gonna go inside of it. So when we spray our black, we won't see the black bleeding through in a perfect world, so we'll see. Another thing you can do with this, okay, which is pretty cool, is you can check, you can check your blend. This doesn't affect anything. Right? So you put it over like that. Once it flashes off, you can check your blend, make sure it looks good. And I've also been liking it because um, it, if there's any sand piling at all, this helps you cover it. And then the clear coat has a nicer uh, uh, substrate to lay down on. So it works, this has many, many different uh, uses and it works awesome. Okay, we'll be back, we're gonna let that flat. There we go, so that's dry. So you see? It makes everything uniform, and then you can see, check your blend, make sure it's good, right? And it's not going to change everything because it's not yellow, um, it's just clear, right? It's just clear. So that's a little tip that I haven't shown before, but I do it from time to time, and I wanted to make sure you guys knew. Now, I can put this on heavy because of that mid coat as well. Because of that wet bed, I can put it on heavy. Because it's almost like there's already is, there already is a coat of base on this.
Because this is only going to take Kukos, and then it'll be done. Beautiful. So that looks amazing, ready for clear, all good. We're gonna dry this real quick. Just too close for this. No good enough. And it's just black. You gotta be careful, some of them are metallic black. But this one's just black. Beautiful. All right. All done. So now I'm going to unmask it. Actually, I'm going to dry it first, then unmask it. All right. So that's flashed off. We're going to slowly pull it out. Boom. That's that. Now we're gonna take the other piece of tape. Hopefully not taking out any of the red paint. And it looks like it's working. I don't see any red paint on the tape. So that's really good. And which is very important for you to flash the paint off properly if you can bake it, give it a bake. Even a heat gun, right? If you don't have a bake, even a heat gun, heat up the water base, heat up the base, make sure it's dry, and then proceed, right? There we go. Looking good, and that's that. A little bit of just a little bit of residue here, just from the from the tape. But as you can see, it comes right off. So I'll be able to just get rid of that with some three thousand. And then that should be all right. But as you can see, right? Looks good. There's no bleed through at all. I mean, obviously there's a nice big gap on there. So I gotta show you another one. Actually, when I did an I-8 a while ago, I did it. Okay, so I'm using a, this is a Norton 3000. The reason why I'm using this one is because it's got like these little holes and then it's very foamy. So I know I'm not gonna screw anything up. But this way, it grabs what's sitting on top without making a mess. And then uh, I won't have to recode it because it's not like really sanding. It's just picking up what's on top, which is just a little bit of tape residue, which is normal. That's it. That's all you need. Now we're ready for clear. How about that?
awesome so there you have it when i get some clear mixed up we're ready to go okay it's friday it's crazy around here i'm super busy but i gotta get some polishing done you know trying to keep everybody happy let's do this I'm spraying at 33 PSI, and I'm using the HD clear. About six inches apart. And as you can tell, I'm moving fast. Want to get a nice, 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 nice coat on there without over applying it. But a smooth, very, very lightly orange peel finish for a first coat. And now let that flash off for a few minutes and then hit it with a heavy coat. This is by no means a mixed coat. It's a medium wet coat. And then the second coat will be a wet coat. Just like that. We'll be right back. Okay. We recording? I hope so. Kind of hard to see with the red blinking. We got it. Okay. Make sure we got the right pressure. 33, boom. Put that regulator away. So we got the edges. You know, I really, really enjoy making videos. I actually generally enjoy it. It's just the same that I don't get to make them all the time because I'm so busy. But I hope that, you know, it comes through in the videos that I actually want to do these videos. I don't need to do these videos, but I actually want to do these videos because I believe that hopefully I'm helping some painters out there in the world. Um, you know, I just want to make a difference in this world. Ever since I was a little kid, I've always said, Oh, I want to help people. Oh, I want to help people. Oh, I want to help people. And uh, I think through this channel, finally, I have somewhat of a outlet to help people. And so happens to be painters. Because I am one. And I got to help myself first or else I can't help anybody. So I have to make sure that I am mentally strong. I have to make sure that I am walking my walk, talking my talk. So second coat a little more farther away, but I'm also going a little bit slower. I hope you notice that. And if you don't notice that, well, now you do. There you have it. Look at that line, nice and sharp. Looks beautiful. So you see the spots that I 3000 very lightly, you can't tell at all. So there you have it. Range Rover Velar. Beautiful car. Now it's got an even more beautiful finish. I'm gonna kick this over to bake. Check it out. One or two dims here and there. Nothing crazy. And we're done. Okay, 
I love you so much. I hope that you enjoy this video and I'll try not to spit on the bumper. And uh, I hope that I can continue to add value to your life, painter's life, and uh, just life in general. I love you so much. I'm glad you're here. Please subscribe and uh, share this video with friends. I love you. God bless you. Peace out. MotivatedPainters.com for all your Motivated Painters needs. Mwah. Love ya.